I have had a really good day painting. I've uh, made some really nice paintings I'm really happy with. And this is just my end of the day. Use up the paint that I have got left over. And this is where I do my experiments and uh, we just see really what happens. I only do them on plastic carrier bags so you know it really doesn't matter how they turn out and then what I tend to do is let them dry. Um, sometimes <laughs> they are so nice that I can actually put them onto some white card and uh, can actually put them in little frames because they do turn out really nicely sometimes but it is just using up the end of the day's paint without wasting it so that is what I'm going to do and because it is just a mess around you know it just doesn't matter but you know I do actually like to film it because sometimes you get some really good results and some ideas for what I might do on a proper painting at a later date. So I just really use up all the colours from the day in a pattern and then once I've put them on this plastic we'll see how it looks. It's not at all unusual for me to put a plastic bag on it. Um, and see what happens there. But sometimes I do get some really nice results. Well, actually, often I do. And I am working on another project at the moment, which is a much, much larger scale thing. So what I do is these bits of plastic, but if they're not any good, for either pictures in their own right or the plastic I do also cut out and make little gift cards with it as well that is a nice thing to do just a little um, five by seven inch card and then I tend to just cut out the design which is normally about four by five inch um, and I put double sided sticky tape because it is plastic that this is on um, and stick it onto a gift card and uh, they come out really nicely actually that was something that I just thought what would I do with all this all these little bits of leftover paint and it did make some really nice designs So it's just a case of layering on the paint <laughs> wherever, you know, I don't always do a particular pattern. I guess today I have done it a little bit more symmetrically. I don't always. <laughs> that was the little birds in my garden got some starlings at the moment little baby starlings just come out of the nest and they are feisty little things they are they do like to have a little squabble very funny to watch very greedy little things so these are very shimmery paints <laughs> you will notice quite a lot that I do use a lot of shimmery paints because I just really like them. I can't say enough. Lovely, shimmery, glittery. These are Art Deco and also Liquitex that I've got today. Copper, gold, ice blue, kind of a aquamarine colour. And everything I've done today has come out quite well, I'm pleased to say. Right, 
I've nearly used up all my paint. I'll just try and scrape the rest out because I don't want to waste any. Just stick it around the edge. I just fancied these colours today. I don't often use the teal, but it has come out really well. dark blue I don't really use a very dark blue matte very often either but I just fancied it today so I did do a whole painting which you'll see in my library um, a nice dark blue background instead of the white background for a change and that came out very well so yes I've had a successful day today Sometimes I do this and uh, I put the plastic on, on the top and spread it around and then when I lift it I think I wish I'd done that on a canvas. But as it is a mess around, you don't know what you're going to get. And I do prefer when I'm doing, oops, I think I've probably got that all in my hair. <laughs> um, yeah, when I'm doing canvas, I do prefer to have a bit more of a more predictable result. I'm not going to put any more on, I don't think. I have got some more dark blue, but I don't think I fancy the dark blue. Just wipe this off of my arm. <laughs> Covered in pink paint. Right. So that's that. So I'm not really sure how big that is. It's probably about six inches or so square, maybe a bit more, eight inches. So all I am going to do now is get a bit of plastic. Do I want this plastic or clear plastic? It doesn't really matter. quite well for greetings cards so we'll have a bit of clear plastic yeah so with this what I tend to do is just sort of press that on and then this clear plastic when I lift it it's very see through and because it has got the impression of the paint underneath um, I can either use it for sticky tape put double-sided sticky tape on it um, I can use it for greetings cards again double-sided sticky tape um, and then stick that onto the greetings card um, my bigger project that I was telling you about is that I make a little three inch by one inch tiles and they are going to go on a much much bigger piece I think I'm not even sure how big that is 36 inches by something or other 36 by 24 I think so I need 100 288 tiles for that so I've got about 200 so far <laughs> uh, so I'll just peel this off Uh, oh. So, oh, oh, oh. this 
is the impression that I have got, which I can use for other things. Shall let that dry. And then this one has come out really nicely. Um, I will put my heat gun on it. And hopefully that will pop any bubbles. Just a few little bubbles. But again, this can be used to make a greetings card. Um, just cut it and uh, put some double sided sticky tape on the back and stick it down to a piece. Well, I've got plain gift cards. Um, and it can also be used to make my little tiles. But this is just an experiment really. It's, but I find they always come out really nicely. Just from throwing the different colours on. It's nice to see how they all go together. <laughs> and that would have been really nice on a canvas. <laughs> but yes. So there you are. That is just my end of the day. Bit of fun just to see what happens and they always come out really nicely that's the thing <laughs> and I always think I should have done that on a canvas so I will get that uh, camera down and I will zoom you in for a little bit of a close-up and you can see what you think I just thought I would follow up on the acrylic skins that I did the other day when I was just messing around with the used up paint and I mentioned how I used the plastic and the, the, the paint just to make greetings cards so this is one that I have already done from the clear plastic that I used um, and I thought I'd show you just how I go about doing that. So this was the plastic from the end of the day that I just put all the paint down on and made quite a nice pattern with and it has now dried. Um, so all I do is cut out, um, it is five and a half inches by four inches because it is going to go onto this greetings card which is um, five inches by seven inches. So it's just a case of deciding which way up you think the pattern will go. Um, I kind of look at it and just see which way I think. Um, and I put, I measure out the five and a half by four. I do it on the back of the plastic. It is just a carrier back. <laughs> so just on the back. And then from that, I stick on double-sided sticky tape. Um, and I tend to stick the sticky tape on first, and then I cut it out from this plastic sheet because it makes it easier to cut because it's got a straight edge. And then it's just a case of sticking it onto that card um, and then you've got a nice little greetings card like this um, and it's just made out of plastic and your leftover acrylic paint from the day. So I hope that has given you some ideas of what you can do with your leftover paint. So thank you for watching. I hope I've given you some ideas and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.